World Tour 16 continues in Veltins Arena in Germany for the running of the Veltins Mud Bowl. The number 9 Ethan McDowell starts on the pole. There will be 60 laps in this small, short track dirt course, uh, but there will be no caution. So if you rack out, you got to pick yourself up. McDowell and Sam Rogers battling for the race lead to kick off to kick the night off here in Veltins Arena. And Sam Rogers gets off the first turn and takes the lead. Daniel Coffey competing for second place. A lot of opportunities to pass at this track, but a lot of wrecks could happen in an instant in this very, very small course. And now Coffey has the race lead as he has the, the right braking, and all he gotta do is break to get the good line and well it's certainly working out for Dan Coffey so far as he's pulling away Sylvia Hunter battling for second against Rogers Hunter looking to close in on 24 whoa what a move she made she made she made a great move to take the race lead away and even have a big lead too George Wark is up to second. Oh, Wark a spun. Oh, man. Big crash. And since there are no cautions, they've got to pick themselves up. Every driver for themselves pretty much in this race. And Coffee gets back up. Cody Hagen also spun, got loose. And the leaders are quickly, very quickly approaching the drivers involved in the wreck. Sylvie Hunter continues to, to lead. She's trying to navigate through the traffic. And Dan Coffey slips. Coffee slips up again, he spins and takes out the 95, Ryan Acosta. Dan Coffey has just not been his night, and the leader, Sylvia Hunter, has spun. Sylvia Hunter has just spun out, and that's going to hand the lead over to the 51, Zach Goldbeck. She did pick it, she did pick up um, from that little spin, but unfortunately, she loses the race lead. Oh, Dan Coffey again. He was trying to get onto pit road, but he can't. Oh, he hits Goldback. Collins is spun. And Ethan McDowell is your new leader. Oh, man. All that. Coffey just held up the top five. And now Collins can't get back on track. Coffey gets dumped. This race is already starting to be very crazy here at the very tight Belton's Arena. And easy come, easy go. Coffee trying to merge back onto the track. Oh man, things are getting really tight. <laughs> really tight for Coffee. He spins out again. Oh, that's like the fourth time he spun today? Man, Dan Coffee's having a terrible night here to, in the 24 machine. Took out a couple more drivers, unfortunately. And the leader, Ethan McDowell, is spun down on the corner. And oh, Dan Coffee again? That's like the fifth time tonight. My goodness, Dan Coffey's just had a rough night here at Belton's Arena. And another spin in the 24. And there you see the 43, David Johansson, getting into some trouble in the course as well. Ooh, three wide, and Mason Wood and Nathan Hudson fall off track. Oh, man, they were trying to make it three wide, and it got ugly. Anthony Lopez, if you, case if you didn't know, is the new leader according to the scoreboard. Battle for second place between Robbie Tavener and Connor Breton. Ooh, Rourke is in front of them. Lap traffic in front. And it's going to be very tough to go navigate through the lap traffic and battle for positions at the same time. Connor Breton doing a great job now hanging on to second place over the 21. He's got to get through a couple more lap cars um, in order to clear everybody. And now Breen still trying to clear through the traffic. Oh, too high on Jordan Davis, and he is loose, and he loses second place. He got loose on Jordan Davis, and Robbie Tavener takes second place. Sam Rogers loose. Oh, Rogers gets loose, and yikes, tough break for the 35. But Robbie is able to keep it together somehow. He's able to drive cleanly right now in Veltins, which is like almost impossible to do in this very very short track and ooh Tavern are trying to hang on ooh lap cars in front of him are spinning and Mason Wood goes for a flip in the 18 machine again no cautions to help them out so they are they're on their own pretty much and the 47 is spun out as well he flipped out of the track and more wrecking O'Neill Balvin Jordan Davis again and this is what the drivers have to go through, a short dirt track, 
with two turns and not a lot of room for not a lot of room for error and man oh boy I saw Brandon Nichols he went upside down he went off the track got to be extremely careful at this racetrack because if you get loose you're screwed and a lot of drivers it could turn into big wreck get into you and it could turn to big wrecks <laughs> my goodness 10 laps to go and well Anthony Lopez took the lead halfway and has not let go of that lead since but Robbie Tavener is closing in very quickly thanks to lap traffic in front of them he's able to close in on the 55 but will he make a pass in just eight laps Lopez is hanging on. Ooh, 17 is a little high there. Oh boy, Costa's off the track almost. And he has to navigate through that. My goodness, imagine what it's like riding on a dirt track like this. Trying to go through traffic, trying to survive turns like these, and trying to run on dirt. My goodness, these guys are doing an excellent job and phenomenal job here at this track. Six laps to go for Anthony Lopez. Lopez looks to win again. I think he has two career wins so far in the Pullman Cup Series. And now he's looking for his third career Pullman Cup win. Robbie Tavener is looking for his first ever win. Oh man, they're going three wide. You saw there they, he was going three wide trying to get through between the lap car of David Johansson. But Tavener can't quite make the move. He's only got five laps to take the race lead away from Lopez. And Lopez is doing a really good job at keeping it somehow. Four to go for Lopez. Tavener trying to close in. He's down to half a second behind the 55. And now he's got to be perfect from here on out. And more drivers off the track. Alex Hawking's off the track. Three to go for Lopez. Now he's got Pichu in, in his face as he's trying to get by him and other lap traffic to clear everybody else. Oh man, one driver's flipped upside down. Yikes, must have been painful, but he's all right. Two to go for the 55. Tavener closing in. He's got at least one more shot to get around the 55. Coming to the white flag. Anthony Lopez still has the lead with one to go. And it looks like Tavener needs has only one chance to pass him. And it looks like he's not going to make it. Coming off the final turn, Anthony Lopez wins the Veltons Mud Bowl here at Veltons Arena. And what a wild race it was. But Anthony Lopez holds off Robbie Tavener in the final laps to win it here in the Veltons Mud Bowl. The second running of the Veltons Mud Bowl. But it's Lopez's third career win in the NASCAR Pokemon Cup Series. And you saw a lot of drivers lap down the short, this very short track. Has a lot of drivers all down a couple laps. So, yeah, that's what you get. But anyway, next race we head to Austria. The Red Bull Ring will host our next race in the World Tour. We'll see you guys there.